don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I'm your host, Selassie Fiawe. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got some interesting news for you concerning the Ghana Black Stars and the coaching staff. Breaking news here is that Coach Kwesiapia has called for assistant coach Ibrahim Tanko to be asked from the Black Stars technical team, the backroom staff. It also looks likely that Steven Apia and also goalkeeping coach Richard Kingston could be asked as well. And a replacement who you would not expect is going to join them. I'll be giving you more details on that. I'm also going to talk to you about Kumasi Asante Gotoko and Ashanti Go's plans for the CAF competition. They have left the country for the CAF competitions. They are away legs. That's the second leg. That was the first legs were played here in Ghana. The second legs they have already departed for them and their preparations and their 18 man squad that are traveling with them i'll be giving you more details on that as well so if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so we all know what happened in the afcon 2019 the black stars were taxed to get the job done to return the trophy back home after a 37 year trophy doubt could kissy up here second helm in charge of the black stars was taxed with that to get the trophy back into the country after so long being without a trophy ghana were expected to make it to the final at least and have their hands on the trophy as we would have it it wasn't to be and we were knocked out in the competition at the round of 16 phase by tunisia now the ghana black stars since that tournament have not played a single friendly despite there being so many international friendlies and the future of coach Kusiapia has been in limbo for a while we don't know whether he will be the main coach again or whether there will be a new coach appointed from the look of things still no official announcement coach Kusiapia is still the coach of the black stars and he has proceeded to fire coach Ibrahim Tanku according to reports and also his backroom staff which includes Steven Apia as well as goalkeeping coach Richard Kingston, yes, and the replacement in this job is set to be also CK Akono, who was former Kumasi Asante Kotoko coach. As team manager Saban Kwe is also set to replace Steven Apia. It's quite interesting. Coach Kwesi Apia has presented a report to the FA Normalization Committee to sack his assistant Ibrahim Tanko and technical coordinator Steven Apia. The coach, as part of his report, following Ghana's shameful performance at the AFCON 2019 in Egypt, has asked the Normalization Committee to replace his assistant and technical coordinator without stating reasons for the action. The NC has called on Kwesia Pia to table a reason for the action before effecting the changes. Reason why the two have not been relieved of their posts yet. Now, Kwesia Pia is expected to present his reasons to the NC after which the final decision will be confirmed. Following the poor outing of the Black Stars at the tournament, Kwesi Apia has turned attention to Tanko and Steven Apia despite endless calls for Ghanaians for his sacking. Tanko's sacking will come as a shock to many Ghanaians as he appears as the most competent among the technical staff, having coached the Bundesliga Japanese top flight and also as an assistant to the Cameroon national team during the 2014 World Cup. Kwesi Apia similarly sacked Maxwell Konedu and Ishmael Hamidou from the technical team two months to the 2019 AFCON, despite huge agitations from several stakeholders to rescind their decision. It appears Apia turns attention to his technical staff and sacrifices them to cover up his quote-unquote incompetence, considering the poor outing of the black stars under his tenure as head coach so that's quite interesting now which Chris Apia has not given any reasons why they should be sacked until then the normalization committee have not effected those changes and it's, it's quite interesting that he would want his technical staff to be sacked and coach Chris Apia we all know we didn't want him to be the coach of the black stars but to further go on to sack Ibrahim Tanko who is currently the coach of the under 23 side technically that would not be a sack it would be somewhat like fo him focusing on his job with the under 23 but richard kenstein and steven apia will lose their jobs it looks like and until he presents a valid reason for that i don't think the nc are obligated to confirm those changes the replacement is eminent and coach ck akono looks to be next in line to 
be the one to take over the assistant coaching job of the Black Stars. We all know CK Akono has expressed his interest in coaching any of the national teams and I think this will be a step in the that direction for him and Coach CK Akono will be appointed as assistant manager should these changes be confirmed. Now, former Heart of Oak Ashanti Gold Asante Kotoko head coach, Coach CK Akono, is expected to be appointed as assistant coach of the senior national team, the Black Stars. Akono, who was capped 41 times for Ghana, scored 12 goals as an offensive midfielder, is set to join Kwesia Pia, who has been in charge of the Black Stars for a while now since 2017. Now, appointment of CK if made official means current assistant coach Ibrahim Tanko, who doubles as the head coach of the under 23 side, the Black Meteors, may lose his position in the Black Stars as assistant coach and would have time to fully concentrate on the Meteors as they prepare for the CAF under 23 Cup of Nations in Egypt, which will also serve as qualification to the 2020 Olympics. CK may also just be an addition to the technical team of the senior national team. Akuno coached Ghana Premier League record 24-time champions Kumasi Asante Kotoko to the group stage of the CAF Confederations Cup last year and he won the normalization committee special competition that him to the CAF Champions League this year. He was shortlisted for vetting to be named coach of the Kenyan national team but missed out narrowly. With the appointment of Akuno pending official approval the black stars technical team will now comprise of coach kwesia pia charles kobla kono and also possibly richard kingston who looks like he might lose his job as well so that is it with the black stars technical team technical staff it looks like coach kwesia pia is ringing in some changes but what do you think about this is it good for Ibrahim Tanko to now be fully focused on the under 23 side or do you think him doubling as the assistant coach of the Black Stars and the head coach of the under 23 side is something that is still feasible let me know your thoughts in the comments box do you think coach Kwesi Apia himself should even be there at the post making this kind of decisions many of you wanted him sacked do you feel the same way do you think these changes will help CK Akono being assistant coach are you in favor of that all these will be confirmed in the coming weeks but that is what is making the reports reports are indicating that that is what coach Kwesi Apia has recommended to the normalization committee let me know your thoughts in the comments box on all this i move on to my next story it's about Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Ashanti Gold who are preparing for their continental competition they are going to take place in the CAF Champions League and the CAF Confederations Cup respectively. Now, Kumasi Asante Kotoko in the first leg at the Papaira Sports Stadium against Etoua du Sahel. They beat Etoua du Sahel 2-0. Um, fortunately, they didn't concede any away goal and goal to Tunis. Swears in Tunis with a chance to make it to the group stages of the CAF Champions League. And it's going to be interesting. But Ashanti Gold as well are hoping to make it after Ashantigo play this round and make it through against Aris Berkane of Morocco they will play a playoff game with one of the outliers one of the teams that don't make it from the CAF Champions League and that will determine if they can make it to the group stages Kumasi Asante Kotoko are already on their way to Tunisia they left today and hopefully traveling we wish them traveling messies all the way to Tunisia. We wish they do the very best. We wish they can make it through to the group stages of the Cup Champions League. Kumasi Asante Kotoko raising the flag of Ghana High. They are departing for Tunisia. Hopefully, Coach Yeto Zakaraisen has named his 18-man squad and this squad is competent. And a notable absentee from his 18-man squad is Sonny Yakuba. Yes, yeah, Sonny Yakuba has not been named in Coach Yeto Zakaraisen. So this is the confirmed squad for Kumasi Asante Kotoko that are going to face Etoile du Sahel in Suez, Tunisia. Now the goalkeepers Felix Anand or Say Kwame. Now for defenders Ampem Da Costa. Habib Mohamed, Ivan Ousu, Samuel Frempon, Patrick Yeboah, Acheman Edu. With the midfielders, Didi Alexander, Justice Blake, Kelvin Ando, 
Godfrey De Siama, Jordan Opoku, Augustine Okra. Now, and also Emmanuel Jemvian with the forwards, George Abege, Richard Arthur, and the returning Nabi Keita, who was suspended from the first leg. Now, Kumasi Asante Kotoko, as I said, are looking for a place in the CAF Champions League group stages. Hopefully, they can get the job done. It's not going to be an easy task in Swiss Tunisia. That is it with Kumasi Asante Kotoko squad. Let me know your thoughts in the predict. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Predictions. Why? How do you think this second leg will end? Can Kumasi Asante Kotoko make it to the next round of this Cup Champions League? We wish them the very best. And moving on to our next team is Ashgold. Ashgold are ready for their clash with Aris Burkani here. They won 3 2, two away goals conceded, and they have left for Morocco. They left on Wednesday for the second leg of the CAF Confederations Cup. A fortnight ago, they won 3 2 in the Obwasi Lenkley Sports Stadium. 19 players have traveled, one will be dropped for the rest to make the journey to Morocco. So the goalkeepers is Frank Boating and Robert De Bua. With the defenders, Atta Kusi, Kojo Amwakon, Roland Amuzu, Eric Donko, Mubarak Yusif, Richard Osei Ajeman, and Musa Mohammed. With the midfielders, Apia McCarthy, James Akamenko, Abdul Latif Anabila, Emmanuel Ogusu, Emmanuel Osei Bafo, Marco Aurelio Silva, Amos Adai and Julius Ofori Ziggy. With the attackers, we have Shafiu Mumoni and Mark Ajeman. So that is Ashko's squad that is traveling to Morocco to face Aris Berkani in the second leg of the CAF Confederations Cup. We wish all the teams the very best. Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Ashanti Gold wish them the very best. We hope they do well. They raise the flag of Ghana high and hopefully they can make it through to the latter stages of both competitions. So that has been it for today, guys. I've been bringing you updates on the Ghana Black Stars, the coaching issue that has been brought up. Coach Gracia Pia has sacked, reportedly has sacked Ibrahim Tanko and Stephen Apia from his technical staff. And possible appointment of CK Akono is eminent for the Black Stars. Your thoughts are welcome in the comments box and also Asante Kotoko as well as Ash Gold who are taking part in the CAF Confederations Cup and the CAF Champions League have named their squad that are traveling away for the second leg to determine who makes it to the next round of the competition. Let me know your predictions on both Asante Kotoko and Ashanti Gold. How far do you think both teams can go? What do you think will be the result of the second legs of both competition? I appreciate to hear your feedback. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.